guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Walker Ford in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have that one car that really is an American institution. This is it. This is a 2022 Ford Mustang GT. But before we get into this pony car, the original pony car, let's talk about what's going on here. A lot of things in the auto industry are changing currently. Big, big pushes and movements towards electrification, but Ford has announced that they are gonna stay true to the Mustang as long as they can and really bring that internal combustion engine sound, driving capability, and performance. Now, 2022 is gonna be remembered as an important year. The reason why is it is the last year of this generation of the Ford Mustang. There are already pictures out there. You've seen them, you've been examining them, zooming in, doing all that you could do to try to take away the camouflage, take away the extra body pieces that they put on to confuse us on what the new generation of the Mustang is gonna be all about. So I'm sure many of you have a choice to make. You've been looking at Mustangs, you've been wanting a Mustang. Maybe you've had a Mustang in the past and you wanna get back into the saddle and ride that pony car. Well, guess what? You can go now with the 2022 Mustang GT or you could roll the dice and do it Vegas style and see what the Mustang is gonna be all about. Now, the question is, what if? What if they don't get the 2023 Mustang right? What if you don't like it? Then what are you gonna do? Because these 2022s, at least brand new, might not be available. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2022 Mustang GT, new color, it's called Dark Matter Gray. It almost feels like a color that was invented by Superman himself. Because it's not kryptonite, it's Dark Matter Gray. Let's find out, is the 2022 Mustang GT ready to buy now, or should you wait? Let's find out with our pony car the 2022 Mustang GT. Right off the bat, that new color. Now on camera, because of the overclouded -clou skies, the overcast, it might look just black to you, but if you look closer, it's a very, very dark metallic gray. I'm digging it because I like the appearance of it being black, but yet it is not a black car. It's a gray car. Now, of course, being the last generation, this is the last time that you're gonna see this setup on our headlights. You got those projector beam LED headlights shining brightly with the tri bar set up on the daytime running lamps. Lower in this area, you do have that external lighting with your turn signals. And then of course we have the functional side air curtains. Remember, this design has been around for a few years and the folks at Ford actually used Darth Vader's mask to design this area on this generation of the Mustang. Coming across the front, what is that 2023 gonna look like? I have no idea. I've looked at the spy photos, I'm trying to figure it out, but this is what you do know. This is what we have. This is the grill, gloss black on a Mustang GT. So you go with a Mustang GT, you're gonna get the honeycomb finish, gloss black, loving the design, very aggressive, very muscle car-esque. Ours has the black out package. And what that's gonna include is not just some blacked out badges, you are gonna get a blacked out Mustang badge on the front, but there's gonna be some other touches that I really like, especially at the price point for the package. On the lower side of things, you do get that front flat black splitter and then the flat black on the lower grill area. I wish they would have made this gloss black to match the top or make the top flat black. Let me know what you think in the comment section but I'm gonna kinda miss the front of this Mustang because it is a very good looking pony car. Now when you get up onto the hood, that classic shape with the two functional heat extractors on both sides with the honeycomb finish. I'm very, very curious on the next design, are they gonna keep to this tradition of having heat extractors? Or are they just gonna go smooth finish? Maybe they'll bring back a functional hood scoop. Who knows, we're gonna find out. But like I said, what do you do now? Coming around the bend on the blackout package, you get these special unique wheels. Almost looks like a future version of the torque thrust wheel. Torque thrust wheels 
very, very popular in the 1960s. Watch the movie Bullet. You'll know what a American racing torque thrust wheel looks like. But you have your gloss black five spoke design with the flat silver on those massive four piston calipers are going to clamp down our rotors. Now, when you go Mustang GT, you are getting larger rotors, different suspension, larger radiator than your EcoBoost Mustang. This is a 19 inch wheel, 255 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and it's sitting really nicely, I think from the factory. You could put some lower ring springs on it, but I think that really they nail the stance right from the Ford factory on a lot of their different Mustangs, including the Mustang GT. Now coming down the side, of course, blackout package. We got our blacked out 5.0. You could be like Vanilla Ice cruising in your 5.0. Look at that, five liter, so much history. I know, especially for me, going back to my high school days with the Fox Body Mustangs, that was really where the 5.0 came to be came to fruition, much different power. And guess what, for 2022, you're gonna get a little bit of a zonk from Ford when it comes to power. But we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Blackout package, you are gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps. You'll notice the flat black side sills still looking good. And like I said, this color is called dark matter gray. Blackout package up top, you don't get a wrapped hood you, uh, uh, roof you actually get a gloss black painted hood. So I, I see me roof, I keep messing that up for some reason. I'm just kind of confused because I'm really curious what that 2023 is gonna be like, and I know you guys are too, but definitely from the side, that classic look of a Mustang, what's it gonna be? Would it be crazy if they went back to the Fox body style? They went with a smaller Mustang? We'll have to see. But coming around to the rear, when you go blackout package, you are gonna get this gloss black specific trunklet spoiler with our, of course, tri-bar taillights, all that history. Blacked out on the GT badge, looking clean. And then going all the way down, this one has the Ford Performance Active Exhaust. So you're gonna get quad tip. You can make it louder to keep the peace in your neighborhood, or I say the hell with it. Let this pony car roar with that five liter V8. You can make it louder, but I love the way they do the nice slash cut round oval uh, size tip and a good looking rear diffuser. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood because I promise there's some, pro some surprises for 2022. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod and you do have still the largest engine cover on any muscle car ever. This is it on our Coyote five liter engine. I wish they did not put this cover here. I feel like they can make a bunch of extra computer chips that they're short on just by getting rid of this cover and turning them into computer chips. But what do we got under that powered by Ford cover? You have that five liter V8 engine, naturally aspirated and for 2022, if you were the person that said, you know what, Joe? When you were reviewing that 2021, I said to myself, I was gonna wait to see what the 2022s are all about. Well, here is my point exactly. If you waited, you're actually getting a major zonk. Less horsepower for 2022. So 10 less horsepower, 10 less pound feet of torque. So that means you're getting 450 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. This one's made it to a 10 speed automatic, that fast shifting A10, you still could get the six speed manual, zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds, quarter mile in 13 seconds flat, top speed around 163 miles an hour, MPGs, 15 in the city, 24 on the highway, and the car weighs 3,850 pounds. And remember, we have that active valve performance system, and with the black accent package, those wheels are 19 by eight and a half. So not only are they larger in diameter, than your standard Mustang GT wheel, but they are a little bit wider. Still a big mystery on why they lowered the horsepower. I'm thinking that it had to do something with emissions, maybe in certain states within the United States, but definitely confusing. But you know what the numbers are here. You know what the power plant is here. We still don't know about 2023, but let's fire up this 2022 and hear its roar.
All right, guys, we're inside the 2022 Mustang GT. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been wanting to get a Mustang. I've been putting it off and putting it off and hoping for things to change, and I don't know what to do, but I'm a little worried that I'm not going to like the 2023, but I think I'm liking this 2022, and even with less horsepower, I don't want to roll the dice anymore. I've already rolled the dice enough in my life. How much is this Mustang GT? So this one being a premium with the black out package and everything else that it has, the active exhaust, you're looking at MSRP of $46,325. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now you are going to get the older style. What I do like about it though, is you're getting some really nice white contrast stitching, especially the way that they did the diagonal lines at the back portion of the door panel. I don't mind it overall, but I know a lot of people are kind of bored with this door panel. They want to see a new one. So that would be a reason to wait for the 2023 is what will the new door panel look like? You do have a good size uh, pocket down there. You could easily get a nice, hot, warm slice of apple pie and a bottle of milk to wash it down, but that's about it. And of course, some napkins and, and a couple forks. Now going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material. I love this aluminum style finish that they have with the Mustang name. It's got the dual cow set up just like the original 1960s Mustangs. We got the optional b &O sound system with the mega subwoofer in the back. Great way that they kind of have the AC vents, easy to use, and I think the style is very, very clean. Here's another place where you might want to wait for the 2023. It's definitely going to be the tech side. This is your Sync 3, not Sync 4, Sync 3 infotainment system. That means you have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. You can see it's a touch screen with our dual climate, which is really nice. And then everything else, you could go into your settings. I could go into display. We could go into mode and then watch this nighttime. And then it should do its thing. Now it's darker. I kind of like the way you could have it set up any way you want, whether you want it automatic, whether you want it set up like this. Easy to use. That is the big plus. Put it into reverse. It does take up all eight inches, so that's the good news. The bad news is it's on the grainy side, but you do have trajectory, which is really nice, especially when you're backing up at the car shows. You wanna back up nice and straight. You don't wanna look like you just got into your first muscle car ever in your life, maybe even if you did. You got your volume controls, radio controls, AC, and guess what? We have three stages of ventilated seats and three stages of heated seats in this interior. I love the P51 fighter cockpit style toggle switches with our modes, steering feel, shut the traction control off, hazards, and a real aluminum start stop button. I've seen the cans that they recycle to make these buttons. It's actually quite phenomenal. You got a USB, a place for one Twinkie. Keep that for your passenger because after you give them a couple zero to 60 pulls, they're gonna wanna get out of the car, say, listen, stay in the car with me, I'll give you a Twinkie, have that right here. This guy right here is going to control that A10, 10-speed automatic. I do like the way they style the shifter. Nice silver finishes on it. And then as you work your way back, this is very hard plastic. I wish they would have done something with that. But the good news is you are getting a Mustang-specific key fob. How do I know that? Because that's the Mustang. Flip it around. Remote start. Really nice on the buttons. You got your good old-fashioned e-brake. Nice soft material on the armrest. Open this up, we got a USB and a 12 volt. And this is a place where you can keep a little bit of a, of a jar here. And what you put in the jar are the tiers of the Camaro SS owners and the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack owners when you beat them at the drag strip. Save those tiers. It's a nice little you know, way to kind of honor them since you beat them and they're all sad. Seats, you got leather in here with the stitching, ventilated, heated, nice bolstering. Only power bottoms, which is kind of stupid. You do have manual controls on the back, which I am gonna zonk that. I know people say that's for when you're in an accident. I don't believe it. Or it makes it easier for somebody to get in and out. I don't believe it because Mercedes-Benz products don't have manual backs and electric bottoms. But it does move very quickly, because watch this. One, two, three, boom. Lori's gonna show off the back seat. Just enough room to make it interesting for a grown adult. Plenty of room for a small child or for a teddy bear or a paper mache doll, or maybe even just, I don't know, a big, huge, my buddy. But why don't you get over here? I wanna show you 
the steering wheel on the business side of things in our pony car. Come All right, on guys, over. here we are behind the wheel of the 2022 Mustang GT. Love the way they got the aluminum sill plate here with that Mustang name that lights up at night with our pony there, our Mustang badging. And then of course, pedal box, they give you a nice aluminum brake pedal and throttle. Still no aluminum dead pedal. And I would like that dead pedal to be just a little bit larger. There's the seat controls for the driver. Same thing as the passenger, electric only on the bottom. And then the steering wheel, nice size. I think we're ready for a change. And this is another area where, of course, 2023 will be an all new steering wheel. I do like the way they went flat black on the buttons. You do have small paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that 10 speed automatic transmission. And then of course, you're gonna get the analog gauges with the small digital display in the center. Let me show you when we go through the different modes, Sport Plus, you got track, you got obviously all the warning things that come up from Ford to let you know, hey, this is for track use only, drag strip, and then snow and wet, which is nice. And then right back to normal, you also could do steering feel, which is really cool to have that separate. And then you have the ability to get into the apps to change the volume of the exhaust sound. And that to me is a zonk. And the reason why is, is that you gotta go through about 15 steps to change the sound of the exhaust from quiet or loud. It would be nice to just be in the modes or something that's just one, two, three, cause who the heck wants to deal with that? But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the trunk because I'm ready to go on throttle in our Mustang GT. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. And what's great about the Mustang, it's right in the sweet spot. It doesn't have as much trunk space as a Challenger, but it definitely has more trunk space than a Chevrolet Camaro. What do we got? We got 14 cubic feet of space, and you'll notice in the trunk on the passenger side, there is that subwoofer, that dump -a dump dump subwoofer for our B&O sound system. It's interesting how it's over on the right-hand side. It kind of rem reminds me of when I was a kid, or I should say a teenager, which I guess a teenager is a kid, my friend Chris with his Fox body Mustang, sometimes I would, he would want me to sneak into the back seat of his Fox body while we were at the drag strip to kind of get a little bit more weight over the rear wheels. Those were the days sometimes I would get yelled at by the track officials and told to get the heck out. But you know what? I'm not gonna tell you to get the heck out. I want you to get the heck in to this Mustang GT because if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle together. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Mustang GT like we were talking about. Should you wait for the redesign? Should you jump on one of these? Less horsepower, but let's see how the on throttle feels. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> nice fast shifts from that A10. So definitely, if you've been wanting something that has that power, has that sound, a Mustang is a perfect way to go. And then the whole point of going with a 2022 is that you know what you're getting. You can go and see it. You've seen them on the road. There's no surprises. There's a lot of people that with the Subaru WRX, they waited for the redesign and many people are regretting that decision of not buying a 2021. So this is that opportunity. I say buy one of these and then let the new design be out for a couple of years. Let them work out the bugs, the kinks and everything else. Cause usually that first year, you're always gonna run into some type of situation because it is brand new. And then maybe switch to the new redesign if you like it. But you may not even like the redesign because we don't know yet exactly what it's gonna look like. All right, guys, obviously, no matter which way you go with a Mustang GT, whether it's just the regular entry level or you go up to performance package, you're gonna get the performance. But if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, drops down and we're off. Like a cruise missile. Really, really nice. The way it just builds that linear torque because that's the thing is with a naturally aspirated engine, you get that linear torque delivery no dips, it just pulls all the way through the rev range. Really, really nice to have that low down grunt. And as of right now, just driving it for this review, I am not feeling the 10 less horsepower and 10 less pound feet of torque. It maybe affect you a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna affect you that much, but on throw, here we go. On 
on the brakes into this left hand bend rips the road very nicely there we go <laughs> the only thing for me that this one's missing is the manual transmission and like I was saying this engine has been around for quite a few years now they've done the business with it worked out the bugs and you know the product that you're getting it's a fun driving car it's a car you can drive every day this one being a premium with the leather interior the ventilated and heated seats just makes it that much more comfortable to where you don't have to give up all the amenities in the the, the name of performance you can have your performance and have the amenities as well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift with the paddles we're gonna manually shift with the paddles and see how that goes and then we're gonna wrap this one up but uh, I think once again we're gonna have to go on throttle here second gear on throttle nice fast shift you hit that paddle and it shifts and you get up to speed very very quickly brakes feel good even though we don't have six piston brembos let's see what a downshift is like nice look at that from fifth to fourth there's third nice little rumble coming from the exhaust and those are the real deal rumbles that isn't something that's been programmed in the ecu but one more time what do we say oh here we go on the brakes down shift round and around and around we go there we go <laughs> the sound is worth the price of admission it really really is but hopefully this is giving you just one last go around with this mustang gt for 2022 before the 2023s come out we're gonna get back to walker ford and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one of those fun muscle car Mustang Mondays here at Walker Ford. I definitely gotta thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Austin, the whole crew getting us access to a 2022 Mustang GT. You'd be surprised. These are actually hard to come by with the supply chain issues, but you know what? That's another thing. You're waiting for that 2023. How hard will they even be able to get once we get to 2023, many people still think the supply chain issues are going to be a challenge. But what do you think? Are you ready to finally make your pony car dreams come true and get a 2022 Mustang GT? Or are you going to do it Las Vegas style? You're at the Venetian. You're rolling the dice. Will you get snake eyes or will you get an even better muscle car? That's yet to be determined. But let me know what you think in the comment section. But until we meet again in another place, another date, another time, another car. If you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the lens, the queen behind the camera. She's wearing that crown proud. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.